There is another site in your area, in, in close to you, in San Ofre, you know, the, the nuclear site. Should there be concerns environmentally about that? Well, absolutely, and, and it's unfortunate that is not getting the attention it needs either from the federal government. Uh, San Onofre was shut down in 2013, so over, over a decade ago, and it's slowly being dismantled. But when the, all these uh, nuclear sites were set up in the United States, it was, it was up to Congress to come up with a site for the spent nuclear fuel to be stored. The spent nuclear fuel is, lasts for thousands of years, is staying hot, is staying radioactive and things like that. And none of these sites in the United States were built to store or manage this spent nuclear fuel. Well, unfortunately, Congress, it took them a while. They did act in the, in the 1980s. They proposed, it was voted on to put this spent nuclear fuel inside of Yucca Mountain. About $15 million was spent 15 years ago to dig this hole in the ground. Uh, and it's supposed to be safe. It was you know, researched as environmentally and, and seismically and as far as not contaminating water tables and things like that. So a lot of time and effort went into finding this site in Yucca Mountain. And that's where nuclear spent, spent nuclear fuel was gonna be going. And unfortunately, uh, the senator at the time, Harry Reid, shut it down. They took all the money that, that you know, the $15 billion and, and all the jobs and everything that was created in Nevada, they kept all that money, but this, this hole in the ground is, is vacant now. It's not being used. So what's happening is all these um, nuclear sites throughout the country are having to store nuclear waste on site. There's about 120 large caskets. It's about a story and a half tall, these big, large canisters or containers. They look like they're stainless steel, but I think it's something even stronger than that that is containing and holding the spent nuclear fuel. So there's about 120 of those in cement at San Onofre that are vented because they're giving off heat. But that in those canisters are like within 20, 30 yards of the ocean. And they're sitting on a fault line that, that, uh, that, that um, a nuclear power plant, San Onofre is. It's sitting on a fault line. It's very close to uh, you know, the ocean. And it's very close to, to Oceanside, which is, has about 180,000 people. San Clemente, which has about 75,000 people, uh, people. And the, the, the normal winds blow from the ocean you know, on shore. So if there's any, you know, towards the inland, if there's any sort of, sort of a leak or something like that or catastrophic, you know, it puts a, put, potentially puts a lot of people's lives in danger uh, and, and at risk.